Okay, welcome back. So when you open up Blender, you should have the file called the Brodacious Beliza Chick. <laughs> um, and when you open it up, it's going to be a bunch of notes here that I wrote in there just to let you know what is what with the dev kit in case, um, more or less, because I forgot and I needed notes. So you guys have my notes as well. So once you run through this, um, you can just switch it over from text to UV image editor. And this is pretty much going to be our workstation. I even tossed in a t-shirt and pants so you guys can play around with that in case you want to just <laughs> make templates. So it's a free template for you guys. You know, I care about you. All right. So when you open up the Belize of Jake, we need to, well, first thing first, I need to turn on a screencast. One of these days I'm going to set that as alt, um, regular so I don't have to keep doing it. Okay, so one thing I need to mention about the uh, dev kit is that it's actually rotated in the wrong direction. Um, this is actually the correct position for, like, if you were using Avastar, the model would be rotated in this position. But the one we're going to rig our clothes to is in actually a Z 90 degrees in the opposite direction. So the body, this dev kit actually comes with two models of Jake. Uh, the red Jake is the one we're going to use to make clothes on, export it out to Marvelous Designer, make clothes on it. Then we're going to rotate our clothes and then put it on the blue Jake. And the blue Jake is for rigging. So with that said, let us select the red Jake here on this layer. And let's export them out so we can start making clothes for them. So what I need you to do is, well, just click on, <laughs> right click on the red Jake. And we're going to go to File, Export, OBJ. And we're going to create a new project folder so we can keep everything nice and organized. And we're going to call this The Jake. <laughs> and select that. And then we're going to make sure that we check this box that says Selection Only. Now, to help yourself remember to check that box when you're working, you can actually save this, all of these settings as a preset. So you just press this little plus button right here. And then you can name it uh, whatever you want, like Marvelous Dummy. I'm not going to do it because I have like 20 of these every time I make a tutorial. Um, and then from there, every time you want to export a dummy out for Marvelous Designer, it doesn't even have to be the Jake. You can just go to your operator presets and then select Marvelous Designer from there. And then it'll be, you know, set for you. So right now we're just going to set one. And then we're going to export it out. So I'm just going to name this as the dummy obj and save it in our project folder and that's pretty much it for exporting the body out for marvelous designer now um i guess we should waddle on over to marvelous designer and start designing marvelously <laughs> so i'll see you over there in marvelous designer